Wow, two system tests already? Well, here it is, Monaco Vulcan 1 System Test 2. So what am I going to use to activate the panel? Well, the first device on Zone 1 is a Firelight BG-10L, as you can see. Let me see if I can show you the key lock. I don't know if this is really necessary to zoom in. Oh, just to show you some of the fun I could have with the DSLR camera. There's the transformer back there. Now if this were just the standard BG-10, let's see if it could pan over. There it is. It would have the hex key right there, the hex lock. Now what do I have for a uh, notification appliance? Well, you might have just caught a glimpse of it. Now I'm showing it to you. It's the 7002T-24. This is the very first one that I got. Yeah, it's the one with the faded fire alerting. But that's besides the point. I have a 7002T here and it's quite awesome. So without further ado, let's activate the pull station. I think we can silence that, as cool as it sounds. It can get a little bit annoying after a while. So, now we can reset the pulse. Oh, sorry for knocking into the camera over there, but we can now reset the pulse station. And we can finally reset the panel. Now let's key activate it. Insert the key, and here we go. Yeah, I gotta focus on it. There, the system's all reset. That's the nice thing about one of these panels like this. Uh, I guess with any panel, it's like, once you reset the pull station, you can just go to uh, resetting the system. Actually, the nice thing about one of these simple panels is, let me just hit the test button here. You can reset it just like that. It's that easy. doesn't take very long. As long as all the devices are reset, then you're good. So, I hope you enjoyed System Test 2. Well, Monaco Vulcan 1 System Test 2. And... That will be it. Thank you for watching.